Hey everyone, Ty the RV Guy here and today I'm with Mark. We're going to be taking you guys through the all new 2022 17 JGBL. Hey, thanks for tuning back in guys. Uh, today we're going to be taking you guys through this 17 JGBL Wolf Pup. Um, this floor plan features, it, it's one of our hottest sellers, it features uh, double bunks, uh, you have a front east-west bed, and then a large U-shaped dinette. It's a 23 foot travel trailer. I think Tyler here is going to start, start us off with some construction. Um, so Tyler, why don't you tell the crowd about uh, uh, the construction of this trailer? Yeah, let's dive right into it guys. So behind us of course, brand new 2022 Wolf Pup 17 JG. Mark wasn't joking, this is our top selling small bunk model trailer here at Rangeland. So one of the big things that we love to talk about with the construction on these trailers is, you know, we're looking at a traditional built travel trailer. So this is a wood structure, but it's a lot different from any other wood structure trailer that you're going to be able to find on the market. And when I say that, it's actually within the walls and how they do the studs at the factory. So Wolf Pup has a 12 inch on center stud construction compared to a lot of others in our industry where you're gonna see a 16 inch spacing. There's even some out there that do a 24 inch spacing. So the best way to think about this guys is this is like a house on wheels and every time you tow it, it goes through an earthquake. So more structure, the better. The other things that we love to talk about as well is the floor in here. Yes. So you have a 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor where a lot of the other traditional trailers on the market are gonna be using a OSB material. And of course, everyone knows with OSB, if it gets wet, it's like a gigantic piece of wood paper towel so it gets soft really easy and it can off gas. The last part of the construction that I'd love to talk about with you guys is the fiberglass upgrade that you get with the black label package. So what you can see on the exterior here is a true gel coat uh, fiberglass. Mm -hmm. So one of the big benefits with that is guys, is you're gonna get that extra high shine. So it's gonna hold its color over the years of use. Um, and hold its just, value. Yeah, hold its value as well too. Mm -hmm. But um, Mark, you wanna talk about some of the cool exterior features? Absolutely. So why don't we start up front mm -hmm. and then we'll walk around the trailer and then we'll take you guys inside. So um, just starting up from the, uh, where you hitch up here. You are gonna have your power tongue jack, so it's always better than manual, manual cranking. Um, behind that, we have our propane and then our, our 12 volt battery. So um, as we make our way down, this is what Wolf Pup does. It's little things that matter. So we do have our magnetic catches on all of the um, storage doors as well. So just a little feature that really adds to the trailer. And then as we start making our way down, you will also see that we have the step above steps. So these are really handy because you know, you can simply adjust them with the press of a button here, which is new to 2022, I think, before it yeah, was pins. Yeah, I, I believe they made the switch there. I think it was somewhere around, yeah, 21 or 22. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. So, and then you do have your oversized grab handle, and then up here, we've got our frameless windows. So Tyler, why don't you tell us about these frameless windows? Yeah, so a lot of cool things that Mark's been talking about here, like that power tongue jack on the front, of course, the upgraded windows as well and those magnetic latches, that's actually part of the black label package as well. But diving into that window, so one, the reason why this is an upgrade is because now what you're seeing is a louvered window so you can use it while it's raining outside. It's not gonna allow that water to come in there. It looks a lot nicer, but of course, most importantly, there's no exposed seal. So over the years of use, that seal's not gonna break down. You're not gonna have more, you know, less chance of water coming into that seal causing delamination and other, you know, problematic things like that. So, absolutely. Yeah. So you can also have these open in the rain, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, um, we've got our outside fridge here. This is great, you know, a little bit of storage outside for any of your food or beverages. So. Exactly. Um, I would like to talk about the adventure package on this trailer. So yeah. this is a really nice feature you can order with the Wolf Puffs. Uh, you get the checker plating when you order the adventure package. You also get the two inch blocks um, for the suspension. And then you also have the Westlake tires. So yeah. a little bit more nitty gritty if you guys are getting down and off grids. Yeah, so. bumps you up to that 15 inch off-road tire instead of the 14, right? Extra yep. ground clearance, which is Absolutely. really cool. Some other really cool features on the exterior before we jump inside is of course your power awning. Um, with the black label package, you're gonna get the updated graphics. You're also gonna get the, um, the light up black label graphic here too. Um, but talking about that power awning, Wolf Pup does a really, really cool feature where you can actually pair up your smartphone to this trailer and you can operate the awning, you can operate your slide outs and even your inside and outside lights, which is really, really cool, especially for a trailer in this price point. Yeah, you can be laying in bed and 
yeah, playing with absolutely. your slide. You're yeah, you don't even awning. have to get out of your camp chair to put the awning out. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, and then quickly before we jump inside there too, guys, one of the biggest features that I'll get Mark to show you there is the pack and play storage door. So with this guy here, you can open up that small half absolutely. door and that goes right into your bunk bed. So what this is gonna do is that bottom bunk flips right up against the wall and there's no need for a bike rack anymore because like you can see, you can put all your bikes and everything in here if you wanna put large coolers or anything like that. Um, and then as we work our way around to the back side of the trailer here, really, really cool standard feature that you're gonna get on this Wolf Pup is a full backup camera. And the nice thing with this camera is it again pairs up to your cell phone so not only is it going to be used when you're backing into your campsite but if you're making that lane change on the highway and you want to see into your blind spot you can actually do that very easily now yeah absolutely yeah. Um, another great feature they've done all led lights on the back side here so yeah, um, you're not uh, worrying about bulbs burning out or anything like that so yeah, less maintenance involved but absolutely yeah let's take them inside let's uh yeah we'll show you a couple of the cool features on our way in there for sure um, so like mark mentioned you'll have the step above steps here from more ride you also have the glass door on the outside too which really helps clean up the look of that trailer the aesthetic of this trailer really just looks it looks really clean yeah and looks really good at night as well really got that pop to it yeah after you mark go ahead okay so yeah come on in guys first things that you'll notice when you walk in um, is there's a lot of interior space in here with that big u-shaped dinette slide um, now because we're in the black label let's talk about a couple of the cool upgrades that you're going to get now on the interior of this coach so the fabrics on the inside have changed on your dinette, so you have a more modern, lighter interior color for that fabric. And then of course, when we look over at the countertop here, this is a big upgrade for Wolf Pup because when you get into that black label, now you're gonna have a true solid surface countertop. So this isn't gonna be affected by heat if you put a hot frying pan on there, a little bit more scratch resistant as well. And then of course, nice standard touches is a residential faucet. And of course, even a little hand soap pump there too, which is really cool. I just want to talk about the QR code here. So if you guys are going to be pairing up your phone, you want to scan that QR code and then you will have to set up the trailer in an app. And then I believe you can um, operate all your, your yeah, uh, same amenities thing. from yeah, there. Yeah, with your slide outs and your yeah. and everything so, too. Yeah, um, really easy. Tons of storage in here. Just want to quickly talk about under the dinette here. So um, this is unlike any other trailer. They give you huge storage drawers. Yeah, 40 inches of exactly, storage drawers. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then you also have under the bed, so yeah. um, tons of storage there. You have an access door on the outside where that magnetic catch is. <clears throat> and then you also have, I believe you can, uh, behind that panel there, there's uh, your water pump and your... Yeah, easy access to yeah. all your plumbing. So if you want to do your own winterizations and stuff like that, guys, you literally lift this bed up here, which is supported with the gas struts, and you can climb right in there and easily access everything you need to do to do your own winterizing maintenance. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, one thing we forgot to mention was this trailer is equipped with the juice pack, so um, that is going to come with a 50 watt panel on top, um, and it's just to supplement this fridge here. So really cool feature, Trev, if you come with me, I just want to show you the fridge. This is an 11 cubic foot fridge, so it's unlike anything you've seen in a small trailer before. Absolutely yeah. huge. Yeah, the beautiful thing with that fridge is it's actually a 12 volt refrigerator. So that's why Wolf Pup from the factory is giving you this juice pack. Cause like Mark mentioned, that 50 watt solar panel on there is gonna help with the recharging of your battery. Um, and the reason why Wolf Pup has jumped over to this 12 volt fridge is because in comparison, if you were to have a gas electric, you would be half the size. It's only a six cubic foot fridge that you get in that gas electric. So this one bumping you up to that 11, I think it's even 11 and a half or something yeah. like that. Um, but what's really the standard cool. six? standard six cubic yeah. foot. Yeah. So almost twice the it's size, almost twice the size. Wow. Yeah. And again, it cools down in about 45 minutes. So a lot faster. You can keep your food chilling while you're on the road as well. So you don't have to start it up, turn it down, that kind of thing. And you're not running the propane while you're driving. Yeah. So. And that's, that's all standard features that we're seeing here. Same thing with that. Again, going back to that black label package, they're going to upgrade your bunk mattresses. They're going to upgrade your main mattress at the front of the trailer as well, too. This thing's even got an upgraded stereo in it, yeah. like just above your head there. You can oh see. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Trevor, I will touch on this 13,500 BTU air conditioning. So that's pretty much, that's the standard for Rockwood. That's if I'm your, not yeah, your standard across the board for a lot of larger travel trailers out yeah. there. Um, a lot of the small footprint um, category, you're going to see 
um, a, you know, little 8,000 BTU air conditioners. We like to call them wall shakers because they're yeah. just sitting in the wall. They don't really do a whole lot for your RV and they're crazy loud. This guy, you can run it for maybe half an hour oh, yeah. and it'll cool down the trailer super, super quick for you there. And then, yeah, like, I mean, you don't have to be using that small air conditioner all the time. Definitely. Yeah. So. Um, do you want I, to take him into the bathroom there? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Uh, let's check Actually, out the bathroom. You guys. Just before you guys go in, I want to show you guys the teddy bear mattresses here. So this is an upgraded uh, with the black label. Again, um, you're going to get a little bit thicker of a mattress. And then it is the teddy bear mattress. So super comfortable for the kids. And you have, uh, you know, tons of space in there for the kids as well. Yeah. So Trev, why don't you check out the bathroom there and show them around. You can also see the USB outlets everywhere in this trailer, which is yeah, really very, nice. Very uh, technology friendly for sure. So as you guys go into that bathroom, there are a couple things to note. Um, is you can see, of course, it's got a nice sit down um, toilet, of course, and then of course your full shower as well with the plastic shower surround there. Um, and a nice touch that you will get with your black label package as well is up above in the very top of the bathroom there, you have the Max Air, or is it Fantastic Fan in this one? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic Fan. So. Again, if you're big into that dry camping and you're unable to hook up to power, that is gonna be a great alternative way of cooling down this trailer because it simply runs off a 12 volt, moves 900 CFM, so cubic foot of air per minute. Um, so you can really pull some air through this trailer and help cool everything down. Um, but yeah, I think that's, we touch on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that about sums up the video, so. Yeah. Yeah, um, lots to cover with this small trailer guys, but of course you got to come down and have a look at one in person and really get a feel for it. Um, don't be shy to give us a call. Um, you can reach out to Mark or I, it's Mark at Rangeland RV or Tyler at Rangeland RV. Those are our emails as well. Yeah. Or feel free again to just pop in here and have a look yourselves. So yeah, thanks again for watching guys. Yeah, guys. I'm Ty the RV guy. I'm Mark with Rangeland RV. And happy camping.